decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice strike. Right going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this he fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And that left hook landed on the button. Ooh, another shot to the head. Straight right hand, no good. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. One, two there by Anderson. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, lands an upper 
uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Connects there with the punch. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Oh, nice job working hard, coasting, and getting back up. Effective punch there by Anderson. Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Stat guy's busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter. Chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Straight punch lands. A oh, little single collar tie there. Right hand punch to the clinch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Nice straight punch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Single collar tie now. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just missed with the left there. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that shit. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice right hand. Wow. Takedown. Anderson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Let's go, push, push, push. 
Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue the game posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Wow! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Anderson goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Slams him to the ground. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Anderson's able to transition back to side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Joy gets back up again. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Great punch. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of A's. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, nice jab there by Anderson. Big leg kick lands. That kick blocked by Choi. Nice. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Anderson gets caught with that punch. Collar tie here. Oh, big head kick. Oh, how clean is that jab by Anderson? And he gets the takedown. He gets the takedown and falls right into side control. Exactly where he wants to be. Anderson's got the full mount. Fostering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure his opposition. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. He's looking for that left hand. Out there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad.
That shot blocked by Anderson. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Oh, straight right. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good get-up, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit early if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling that he will continue to attack him over and over again. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Shore. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Straight right, he misses. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, straight right. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Go finish this fight. All right, side control now. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Nice punch by Anderson. How good is that right here? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Anderson's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Nice loop and punch. He blocks the punch. Oh, big left hook there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to rob the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Choi. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep.
Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, you can just see he is. Oh! He was hurt. He's gonna serve him up. Go get him. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Anderson's has got full mount now. Three minutes remain in the round. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Double leg takedown, stuff. And they separate. Look at the turtle in that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> if I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take me over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I will try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. I don't see, know. See. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Finish down now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And really starting to make these shots count. Our right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Under a minute to go in round four. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Wow! He's out! He got him! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush. And the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. Going to win her by knockout, the career.